Hello, my dear students and colleagues in critical care medicine. I hope you all, you all are safe. I'm also fine. Few days back, I posted two MCQs on Facebook for the people to solve it. The responses have been overwhelming and unique, and I enjoy the comments of doctors and respiratory care practitioners. I'm not very good at ventilator science, but I enjoyed it. I'm not a master, to be very honest, but I'm just trying to learn more and more. Today, let's solve those two interesting MCQs which I had posted on Facebook. A 62-year-old male with past medical history of alcohol-induced and stage liver disease with portopulmonary syndrome, GI bleed, COPD, and type 2 diabetes. Presents to the emergency department with complaints of continuous vomiting of blood. The patient is intubated for airway protection and is transferred up to the ICU for close monitoring. Upper GI endoscope is planned. The patient is sedated with 30 microgram per kg per minute of propofol. The patient's vital signs are heart rate 102, BP 92 over 61, saturation 100%. Ventilator settings are ACVC mode, tidal volume 700 ml, RR14, FIO200, P3 cm of water. Ventilator screen is showing following waveforms. Identify the problems in this ventilator graphics. What is the next appropriate step in ventilator management? A. Reduce the tidal volume. B. Decrease I ratio. C. Decrease the inspiratory flow. D. Increase the flow trigger or E, increase the P. So when I posted this question in different Facebook groups, people gave various responses and they seemed to be right. Now let's understand the problem in this ventilator graph. For trigger of the breath, look at the pressure graph, pressure tracing over here. There are few breaths which remained untriggered. The trigger is undetected or you can say missed arrowed breath are ineffective ineffective breaths or in, ineffective trig, uh, in, ineffectively triggered breaths there is also a cycling asynchrony in this graph there is a prolongation of inspiration which you can see breaths preceding the ineffective triggers what could be so these are the ineffectively triggered breaths and uh, in ineffective triggers, you can say, uh, and uh, there is prolongation of inspiration preceding these ineffective trigger attempts. So what could be the cause of such prolonged inspiration? Probably that is related to large tidal volume set over here, which needs to be delivered completely. Such a large tidal volume will take longer time to be delivered completely. Patient wants to complete the TI early. And that is the reason why there is a notch in the inspiratory flow pattern. So there is a notch in the inspiratory flow waveform. You can see a slight overshoot also at the end of inspiratory blood pressure here. Isn't it? You can see the small overshoot in the pressure. To reduce the ineffective trigger, we can increase the P, increase the flow rate, and decrease the inspiratory time. So there are options, multiple options may be correct. But with higher flow rate, ventilator will be able to cycle off early to deliver higher TD, uh, tidal volume. So if you want to select the most appropriate answer, as many rightly answered on my Facebook post, reducing the tidal volume will be the most appropriate step because that might cause more uh, lung damage. So satire volume is not protective, which has been selected in this question. Let's see, uh, let's move to another question. That is question number two. A patient with acute respiratory failure was intubated and started on mechanical ventilation with following ventilator waveforms on the ventilator screen. Identify the type of asynchrony, 
what is the cause of the cell synchrony, increased sedation, decreased tidal volume, decrease in spray time or cardiac oscillations? So this is the question. Again, there are missed triggers, as you can see on the pressure waveform. So what could be the reason for these ineffective triggers? So this is the problem over here, ineffective triggering, and we have to find out the correct answer for this. The most common cause is decrease in expiratory time, prolonged uh, inspiratory time, out of peak, large tidal volume. So decreased tidal volume cannot be the answer because the more the tidal volume, more will be TI. So that is the cause of uh, effective triggering. So this is not the answer. Even decreased spray time is not the answer. Cardiac oscillation is also not the answer. So the answer is increased sedation. So interesting study was performed in 20 ICU patients to assess the relationship between the sedation level and the patient ventilator asynchrony. And they found that 88% of all asynchronous deaths were ineffectively triggered and deeper sedation level is a predictor of ineffective triggering. So with this, I conclude my presentation. Thank you so much for your interest. These topics will always be the hot topics for the discussion in our fraternity. And I hope to post real-time ventilator graphs soon. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.